So here we go then. Um, I'm Mike Downs, of course, and this is my live streaming channel. Now, I'm going to share a couple of ideas about um, emojis uh, with you and why I'm testing or demoing, should we say, my live stream uh, entitled a live video uh, broadcast with a, with a little picture of a camera and a microphone, some eyes and a finger. Let me, let me show you how I actually got there and why I'm actually live streaming and thinking about it. And that is that um, what I've noticed over the last little while, certainly in Gmail, and this is just a selection, is every time somebody has uh, gone live on their YouTube channel, I get this big red button. And what happens is... Um, I think that you can notice this one here, look, about halfway down the screen where it says uh, Barbara. And you've got, uh, that's Barbara Emac, by the way, um, a picture of like a little um, games uh, station thing. Now, also looking uh, over into somewhere like Blogger and Google Docs, we've got special characters. Now, this is quite interesting in that I've started to mess around and these uh, emojis or characters are actually treated as characters. So you can make them bigger and smaller. You can see the red dot and the lightning bolt thing. Um, going on. So let's have a look at that in practice. And um, if we look at something like the way I came to it, and this is just really to provoke some thoughts and some teaching into it, and that is that I have a title here, which is how to make a Twitter moment. But you'll notice that the title itself has the lightning bolt of the Twitter in it. And that's where I've, I've come to it, where actually by accident, I know this has been around for a while. And this is why I'm making the video just to see how much use there is for emojis and special characters in titles and descriptions. So you see the, the description here where it clearly says demo moment as below and the lightning bolt has appeared. We know that we could add these all, all over uh, the internet. And as an example here, um, I've looked at my blogger account and seen that on a my sandbox account on a test that what we've got is the small red dot the bigger dot and the bolt thing and that that renders really well to to mobile as well so um, what we can also do is just go back to um, Twitter and when we look at something like Twitter we've got um, one of the the officers down there in Devon uh, pieces so Kirsty down and absolute uses um, emojis all the time and that's fine when you're doing it from mobile and the the thread that i put out in a you know sort of serious but also a jokey way to say you know that discovering these special characters then i thought of kirsty which is brilliant and then i put this slide in and then this is really where it gets interesting somebody who you know who, who's brilliant emily comes back this is on twitter and says that she does it with a mac and emerges emerges in any app but um, we're talking about a dyslexic 12 year old. And that's really interesting because I, I thought about it. Well, you know, if you're using any language as your second or third language, um, let alone as your first language, if, if you have issues with it, then, um, you know, how can these emojis, you know, be any better? So, so just going to something like on my uh, live title again, just to overlay that very quickly, you can see a live video broadcast, you know, starting now, da da da. But I've used four emojis in the top. Would it help people get there to understand um, a little bit um, of what's going on? And then I've, I've just gone back and I've, I've shared that there. So what else is there to say about this? Not a lot, I don't think, really, apart from to say, um, let's have a look. No, I don't think there's too much going on at all at the moment apart from say look subscribe for some more updates if you wish to this was a short video just to test out the the titles and the emojis and i will leave it i think there